Welcome, this is question number 25 from the Integrated Math 2 practice test, subpart 3, calculator use allowed, thank goodness. So the question says a right triangle has legs of 0.3 centimeters and 0.4 centimeters. What is the cosine where the angle is the smallest angle of the triangle? Write your answer in the space provided uh, on your answer document. So the first thing I'm going to do is of course draw my picture. The, uh, it has leg lengths of 0.3 centimeters and 0.4. The angle that is across from the smallest angle will have the smallest length. That's the nature of uh, an angle that is smaller can't produce as much distance apart as it extends. So the small side is here. And they want to know the cosine. Actually, I should just take that cosine out and put x there. That's the one they're looking for that. They're looking at x here. Now, with that said, it gives me some perspective on uh, what I need to do. So I need to address, okay, well, what's cosine? What's the, formula, what's the formula for cosine ratio? Or what is the cosine ratio? So I'm going to use my old standard, the old aardvark set on Henry's coat and hat, because that's kind of what I'm comfortable with. And it would be tangent would be opposite over adjacent. Uh, sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, but cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to write cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the ratio. Now, they want to know what the adjacent side is. So I always kind of take a, it's almost like you're flying a plane out of a hangar. You don't want to hit the walls. That's the opposite side. The hypotenuse is the one opposite the right angle. Pretend like that's the symbol for right angle. So it's this one. It's the longest side, too, in a right triangle. And this would make this the adjacent side. So I am given not quite enough information to make that happen. I do have my adjacent side at 0 0.4, but I need to figure out what the hypotenuse is. There's a couple ways that you could do it. Um, if you don't know what the Pythagorean, this is a Pythagorean triple. If you know what the Pythagorean triples are, um, a common Pythagorean triple is a 3, 4, 5. And since this is 0 0.3, this is 0 0.4, that would make the hypotenuse 0 0.5. So that can get you down to 0 0.8. And that's what they want. The, the, when they talk about directly cosine, they're not asking you for uh, what's the angle. If they'd ask for the angle, then you do the inverse cosine. Cosine in and of itself and sort of uh, sine and tangent, when you're dealing with right triangles, are ratios. So that's all they want. They just want the ratio here. They don't want the value of the angle, uh, or they'd ask specifically for the angle. They just want to know what cosine of theta is, which is asking specifically for the ratio. So be careful um, to make sure that you give them the answer that they want. If they ask for the angle, use the inverse cosine, cosine negative 1. But if they're not asking that, they're asking about cosine theta, which is them saying, what's the ratio that exists as cosine? Um, if you didn't know that, you could always do the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is available to you in the formulas uh, with the reference page. Uh, you can scroll down and find it. Uh, you'll probably have it in your test booklet. So if you forget it, it's there for you. The two angles that make up the right angle are A and B. Those are the legs. And for me, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Generally, if you're given the two legs, it's going to be adding them together to get the value of c squared. But um, it's probably in your best interest over time to write this, or at least this, so you put the things in the right place. I've had students that just kind of put them wherever, and it sometimes doesn't lead to the correct answer, which is really annoying because it's not a difficult question. So you end up getting uh, 0 0.25 equals c squared. And of course, you take the square root. And while it should be plus or minus 0 0.5, you can't have a negative length. So c is equal to 0 0.5. So you'd have that, put it there, good to go. So whatever you need to do to get the answer, if you knew the triple, uh, it's probably a good idea to have some of the triples in your head, the 5, 12, 13, and whatnot. 
um, and then any scaled up version of 345 so 6 8 10 is one uh, it's based off 345 so just be aware that that's a thing that you'll need to deal with and that's all you need to do but the biggest thing about this question is making sure you answer the question that they ask by having a picture drawn I can easily see what the order is I'm not going to do 0.3 divided by 0.4 because they're asking about cosine and knowing that cosine theta in this question the way they've asked it they're simply asking for the ratio they don't want to know what the even though it says theta they don't want to know what that angle measure is if they do they'll specifically ask for it so just be careful with that and you should be able to get this question right most of the time